Hello everyone, this is Sanjay and today we are going to discuss about uh, how you can uh, set up a Python project in the PS4 and uh, in this video will be helpful like if you are going to uh, set up any Python with Selenium or like uh, Python with uh, Voto3 or any kind of like uh, project you want to set up and uh, run on this uh, PS4 too. So for this like what you need to do is first step is like you need to install the Python. So what you need to go is you open your browser and type here python download. So you, you see like here the official website is there. So just click on download python here. So it will navigate to and show you the latest version of the python. So you just need to like uh, download the python and after that you need to like uh, follow the steps to install this one. I have a dedicated video for this one. So I will ping you that one and uh, you can use that one for your reference. Similarly, you need to install your VS Code. For, for the VS Code also, you need to just uh, search on the browser for VS Code. And uh, here you can see the download link is there. So as for like your, uh, uh, if you are using a Windows, then you can uh, click on the Windows uh, here and it will download your VS Code. And after that, you need to just install it as well. And the installation process is very simple. Just you need to follow what are the steps they are asking, and uh, you will got your VS Code to be installed. Now, the second uh, third point is that uh, you need to install a VS Code extension for the Python so that your Python run should should be done. So I have already installed like uh, Python and uh, VS Code on my system. So what you need to go to the extensions here, and uh, in the search box, just type Python. Click enter. Here you can see multiple your uh, extensions are there. So the those one like uh, provided by Microsoft. So this is what I have installed. So you need to just uh, install this one and uh, just mark here like uh, you are uh, installing from the uh, extension which is provided by Microsoft platform. Okay. Once you have did this one, so what you need to do is like uh, on the VS Code you need to open a folder or like uh, create a new uh, folder. So I will go to one of my directory. Let's say I will create one new folder here. Test Selenium project. Okay, I have created one new folder here and I just selecting this folder and wait for a minute. Okay, it's now ready. So what you need to do is first thing you need to uh, create Create a like a Python file to check like uh, whether your uh, setup is ready to run the Python first. So what I will do is I will create a file demo.py. This is a Python file and uh, what I will do is I will uh, write a print statement here. Uh, let's say hello world. Okay. Save it. And once you have like uh, installed this uh, Python uh, extension, so after that you can see here like uh, run Python file. If you click on this, so you can see your uh, Python your, uh, file is run and uh, your uh, program is run here. And this is the output in the terminal. So, okay. After that, what you need to do is like uh, create a virtual environment for the Python project. So, how you will create? So, basically, you just go to uh, view, then command select, and here you just if in your case it's not showing any kind of like uh, uh, this options for the python so just need to uh, save the python and here you can see like uh, multiple options are there so here what we will do is uh, we we'll go to for the uh, select interpreter first click on that here you can see create virtual environment or if you have already once you have installed this uh, python also so I will suggest you that you can use this one also. So what we will do is I will go for create virtual environment and after that you can see here two options are there ENV and another is the Conda. So you just need to click on the VENV here. Once you have clicked that one, so now you will see uh, you have uh, installed a Python. So this is your directory of for the where python.exe file is there. So you just need to click on this. Once you click on this, so here you can see it's a creating one environment. So why we are creating this environment? So basically whatever like two packages will be installed. So all everything will be 
press another one v env file here you can see one env directory is there under this all your library in you know, the library whatever like currently it's have only fit okay now what we need to do in this project so the now like this present sign of project is there so in this project what we need to do is create one requirement of txt file okay so in that requirement the txt file all your dependencies you need to mess up i will create this one requi requirements dot txt okay here you just need to mention whatever the dependencies or like libraries you need to install first thing as we are set up we are setting up this one for this uh, selenium so we will mention is selenium okay if you are uh, using trying to set up this one for any cloud let's say aws so if you are, you are requiring this uh, to like uh, you are requiring the library called uh, boto3 so you, you can write here like uh, boto3 also okay but currently we are using this selenium and after that we will i will be also showing you uh, you can use uh, pytest also and save this one okay the next step is that you have created requirements files also in the selenium and run the script okay so you have created this one so after that what you need to do is if in your case the terminal is not there then so just new terminal click go in here and here what you need to uh, run is pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt okay just you in this directory just uh, mention uh, for this like under this test random project this directory directly you have the requirements of txt if you may present uh, if you are uh, moving this file to in any other directory then it will not like run So you need to navigate to that particular directory. Okay. So I can R just type R E Q and uh, press tab so that it will directly check the requirement directory is there and it will go to the path and then click enter. Once you click the enter button, so here you can see it's the selecting and downloading for your libraries here. Just wait for like around uh, two to three minutes and uh, it will so all your all your dependencies will be installed. And also, meanwhile, you can verify in this uh, library. Here you can see all your packages are now installed, and everything is installed right now. So, what we will do is now we will create a one uh, another Python file. Let's say this is already created demo file. I will do one thing. I will create another file here. Okay, demo selenium dot py. Okay, first I will check with PI. So how we will run a so basic script here? Just uh, import. Now we check. Here you can see Selenium is there. We have already installed the package, so we so import Selenium. Okay, but what we need to do is from Selenium we need to import web driver. Okay. Now, what we will do is driver equals to web driver dot. We need to open Chrome here. Okay, Chrome. So this will open your browser. Okay, then driver dot get. Here you need to pass any URL that. Uh, you want to like uh, navigate your browser, so what I will do is I will type on URL superjob dot com. Let me copy this one and on the get I need to paste this one. Okay, this is fine. Now I will close this browser also. Okay, now how you can run this one from the CLI? If you click on this, this is work. What here in the from the CLI, what you can use? So if you are directly running any Python files, so you just need to type Python. Then what is your file name? Demo underscore Selenium dot py. Okay, click enter and wait for like around the two to three minutes. It will execute. Okay. It's open my browser and it's already 
Great. So uh, here you can see our uh, Selenium core is run. Okay. Now what we will do? Like uh, using a PyTest, everything would be same. But in a PyTest, what you need to do is uh, your uh, test file name should be start with test keyword underscore Selenium. Okay. Dot py and extension should be py. What I will do is from demo Selenium, I will just copy everything. And in the test selenium, I will paste this one. Okay. I create this one. Now, as we are using the PyTest, so in the PyTest, what you do, we can do like some assert also. Okay. Assert. What you will assert here? Uh, title. Okay. Do one thing. Diverse. Diverse. Okay. Let me store this one in one variable. So I will create one variable page title equal to this and now print page icon. Okay. So, to run this one, what you will know to do is, you need to just type pytest, hyphen b for verbose, hyphen s, then click on that. It's open. Okay, so here you can see, uh, test is done, and uh, this is like uh, my uh, title is there. Now, if I want to assert this one, so what I will do is, assert, test title, should be this value. So we have what I was saying is one must be separated with the new line semicolon. I do okay fine noises A S S E R T. Okay, we did the assertion here. Now again run the same. Clear this and then the PyTest. It's open the browser. Now it's showing. Okay. Your should have job is there. Fine. So this is just uh, like uh, this is how you can like uh, use any kind of like a uh, setup uh, Python with Selenium project in the VS Code. And uh, similarly, if you want. So for the Voto 3 also, you just need to like here add one. Uh, Another like Voto 3 or any of this uh, your dependency or libraries you want, so you can add here and uh, you can use the uh, pip command to install the dependencies and you can run and uh, do or uh, whenever you are doing anything, so you just make sure like you are uh, creating one uh, virtual environment, so that is the most uh, required things. I hope this video is helpful to you and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, have a great day.